Well, obviously, I'm really happy and grateful for the win. Uh, I thought that our guys did a really good job today, uh, battling and uh, really competed hard. I thought Tolu's uh, minutes were spectacular when you consider, you know, he's only practiced maybe 10 times in the last four months. He has five steals, makes his foul shots, eight for 10, ends up being our leading scorer. He was really good. Uh, I thought that uh, Shaquille Moore had a really good game today. You look at his numbers, five assists, four steals, three for four from three, five for eight overall, and played excellent defense. And four steals were huge. We had 12 steals as a team and forced them into 17 turnovers, which was big. I thought Anderson Garcia's minutes were huge off the bench. What he does in terms of how hard he plays, how hard he competes, he, they have him down for one steal. I guarantee you he has more than one steal. And when I watch the game tomorrow, I will chart it and get that corrected because I know he had more than one. I thought Rocket Watts gave us great minutes today and earns more minutes because of his performance today as well as in practice uh, since we got back. Uh, and that's big for us because he's a guy we know can put the ball in the basket and has experience. Uh, I thought Garrison Brooks, even though he didn't score, from the field, he gets his 10 rebounds. He's our leading rebounder. Iverson, you know, is asked to do so much and, again, does a wonderful job for us uh, leading us out there and really was unselfish today. Uh, you know, found a lot of guys open for baskets. And, you know, J.D. gave us great minutes. You know, his minutes off the bench were critical. So our depth really helped us today. Questions? Theo, go ahead and get us started today. Theo. Sure, Coach. I mean, you mentioned Tolu. How beneficial was it for him to sit out rather than continue to play through that injury as far as him coming back and having this game today? Well, I'm sure he answered that already, but obviously the way he played today was huge. And, uh, you know, we need him. I mean, you know, to be our best, we have to have Tolu Smith in the lineup because he's one of our top players without question. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited for him because he's gone through so much adversity and to be able to be rewarded today with this first big win in the uh, league opener was huge, and he had a big part in it. Paul Jones, go ahead. Coach, obviously every SEC game is important, and, and not to look too far ahead, but how important was it getting this win, knowing you got two games on the road coming up? It's huge. You, know, you want to hold your home uh, serve when you're ever at home. And uh, Arkansas is a really good team. In fairness to Arkansas, they didn't have their best player. Note was not available today. I just heard that they said he has illness. I hope it's not COVID for his sake and their sake. Uh, but he's a spectacular player. So we'll probably for sure see him when we return this game down in Fayetteville later in the season. But that being said, they had other guys step up. I mean, Omunde, who's a really good player for them, was really good today. He had 19 points and really, really hurt us. And uh, we knew he was a good player because he put up incredible numbers at South Dakota State and uh, shot high percentages. And I thought our defense in the second half got better. We were down at the half in rebound margin, and they shot a pretty good percentage from three. Second half, they were only three for 14 from three. And we uh, outboarded them in the second half, I think, by 10. So that was huge. Tolu mentioned that the coaching staff, you guys did a good job of, of watching his minutes and playing him in four minutes increments. Is, obviously, that was the plan, I'm sure, tonight. But uh, how soon do you want to get him back and, and playing 30 minutes and, and make sure his conditioning is Well, good? it's going to take a minute, you know. I mean, it's going to take him a minute. But I'm, I'm fine. I mean, I'm fine because I think his guy who's spelling him right now, J.D., gives us really good minutes. And if he plays, if he only plays 28, 29 minutes a game, so be it. I mean, uh, you know, uh, the, one of the reasons we won today is our depth is so much better than it was a year ago. And our depth, I mean, I thought that, uh, uh, I thought Cam Matthews' minutes in the first half were critical. I thought he did a really good job defensively for us in that first half. He made a great pass to somebody. Can't even remember who it was. But, you know, we have a lot of good players. So that excites me. What's up, Ben? Congrats Hi, on the win, man. Thank um, you. So, uh, obviously, I mean, it, things were kind of close and you guys 
pulled away at the end. You guys are playing some really good basketball right now. You won four in a row. You beat a pretty good Arkansas team, even if they were a little bit shorthanded. What have been the biggest trends that you've seen in the last four games out of your team that's impressed you? I just think we're doing a good job of, uh, you know, staying together when we have adversity within a game and staying positive, uh, really helping each other. I think our, our uh, you know, offense has improved. I think we're executing better offensively. I think we're taking better care of the ball than we were, and I, I think that we have a good rotation right now with Tolu back. Uh, you know, he's helping us a lot being back in the lineup with his first game today. So uh, it adds another really good player to our lineup. You know, he's, you know, one of our top two guys returning from last year, led the league in rebounding. Uh, and he's really, you know, a force around the basket. So I think this is a really good sign for us moving forward. Now, you guys have a, a, a ton of very versatile, really good ball handlers on, on this team. You know, a, a bunch of guys that can that really take care of the basketball well. As a coach, how much wiggle room does that kind of give you when you have so many guys that take care of the ball well and that can handle well? Well, it's really helpful. You know, like DJ Jeffries is a very good ball handler, and I really trust him the way he handles the ball and, and decision making. He's an excellent passer. Uh, Shaq really showed us that tonight with five assists, two turnovers, but four steals. I mean, he was great. He made a lot of good decisions. Obviously, Iverson's the guy who handles the ball the most for us. But we, we have, yeah, we're, we're better for sure than we were a year ago at handling the ball and taking care of the basketball. A year ago, those double teams that they were coming off one guy and double teaming Iverson really bothered us. We had a 16-2 to two league and lost by 15 down there. But we have our personnel's changed to where we're much better now at handling that. Thank you. Thank you. Just a reminder to queue your hands for questions for Coach. Stefan, go ahead and hop in there for a couple. Hey, Ben, it seemed like you got into it a little bit there, uh, maybe the middle part of the, the second half, kind of with the, the steals and the defense you were seeing that you were trying to get the crowd involved. I mean, just, just how big was it to kind of be back at home? And, and what was it about that defense at that stretch that kind of got you going, too? Well, you know, I was going the whole day. I know how important this game was to start off the right way in the conference against a very good team, a team in Arkansas that will be in the NCAA tournament. They're a tournament team. If you looked at Lenardi stuff right now, I think he has them at an eight seed or a nine seed, something like that. But they're a tournament team. So that's huge for us uh, in terms of our net. And, and uh, But I was so excited about the crowd today. As you know, we switched it. Uh, because the Ole Miss-Florida game was canceled. And I really wanted to be at 4 o'clock because I thought that was better for our fans. You know, the, and we had a really good crowd today considering there's not a student in town. So I was really excited about our fans tonight. And I was imploring them. I was the lead cheerleader there. And they, they responded. They were awesome. I mean, when I was doing this with my hands, they were, they, they were great. They'd stand up. So I'm so thankful for those fans out there today that came to support their team. You mentioned the, the students not being here right now. Obviously, as they kind of start to return to campus, how much are you kind of having conversations with your players about, you know, what they're doing uh, in, in terms of their social life and stuff like that, obviously with the rising cases that have been going on around college basketball? Yeah, that's going to be a daily conversation, daily, because, uh, you know, this thing is so transmissible. And it's, you know, the, the good news is there's way less severity with it, right? We're going to have way less people hospitalized, way less people dying from it. But still, you got to sit, and we don't want to. We're, I'm liking how we're doing right now. We're trying to keep everybody healthy. So, you know, there is a positive in the students being gone. It's less likely that our guys are going to come down with it right now. Appreciate the time, Coach. We'll see everybody on Tuesday for our next media session.